Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you very quickly how I created this flower with the dash line using a simple shape that's in Scan and Cut Canvas. And in the next part of the video it's going to be a live stream and I'm going to show you how I created the card and decorated it with these flowers. So in the basic shapes you need to scroll down and you find this shape. I grabbed a corner and I took the size down to about 0 0.8 or 0 0.81 in height. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little. So with this shape selected, I right clicked and I hit duplicate. Then I held the shift key down on the keyboard and I rotated it so it keeps it perfectly aligned positioned it so there was a small gap here. Then I drew an imaginary box around both shapes, went to edit and align and that aligns them together. And then while they're both selected, I created a group. Now I held the Alt key down on my keyboard and while holding down the Alt key, I hovered my mouse over this circle, left clicked and dragged out and that creates the duplicate and then I let go then holding down the alt key again grab this circle and drag another one out to the left because I wanted this flower to be a six petal flower now I'm going to come back to the basic shapes and I'm going to choose a circle I'm going to size the circle down so it's just big enough to overlap this centre section. I'm going to select all these and right click and make them a group. And then I'm going to position this circle back over and take it down. I'm going to zoom in. I just want it to overlap the bottom of these petals. I'm going to select everything go to edit, center and edit middle. That puts the circle directly in the middle of this group and with everything selected, I'm going to hit edit and weld. And that's given me the basic flower shape. I'm going to right click and select it. Sorry, I'm going to select it, go to the properties box and assign it a cut line and close down the box. And with it still selected, I'm going to go to Edit, Offset. I'm going to create an inward offset of 0 0.8 and say OK. And then I'm going to select the offset only, go to the Properties box, make it a draw line and choose my dashed line. <coughs> and close the box. So I've assigned the outside as a cut line and the inside as a dash line. And if you're unsure, just select the outside again and go back to the properties box and make sure it is a cut line and that your inner line is a dash line. I'm going to select everything, right click and group. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to view and fit to mat. And this flower now you can see is just under two inches high and that's about the size I think I left it. While it's selected, right click and hit duplicate and then I made the duplicate smaller. It doesn't really matter what size, I just wanted it to look smaller than the other one. And then while that one's selected, I created a duplicate of that. So that gave me the three flowers, <coughs> two in one size and one slightly bigger. Then it came back to the circles and I wanted to make a circle to go over each one of these. So I'm just going to change this to red so you can see it better on the screen. And I did this by eye. So I just want one big enough to sit over the centre of that flower and that one looks okay. I'm going to duplicate that and make the next ones smaller to fit over the centre. 
for the smaller flower. And I think that looks okay and I need two of those. Then I gave it a name up here. So I'm going to call the project Flower with Dash Line. I'm going to save it into my projects first of all and then I'm going to download it. Now to download it if you've got the USB stick just put it on your flash drive and then plug that into your machine. I've got the Wi-Fi so I'm going to use the um, Wi-Fi transfer and then in the next part of the video which will be the live stream I'm going to show you how I retrieve this design via the Wi-Fi and then carry on with the card project itself. So that's sent it over to the machine now and the next time I put my machine on it will be there waiting for me to install it. So I hope you found this part of the video helpful. If you don't get to catch me in part two, which will be the live stream, the video will be made live after the live stream and you'll be able to watch both parts of this tutorial. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.